<laughs> Yo, 30. I, dude, if you tried this face, but like really hard, you would do one of those meme Chad faces. Do you look at, look at you, look at you in this frame. That just looks like, I don't know what that looks like. It's just a face. It, what do you, <laughs> it just looks like I'm making a normal face. What are you laughing no, at me? No, Dude, are you no, calling me no, ugly? No, hang on, hang you're on. Say, you're saying I'm ugly. <laughs> no, I'm saying that you're one you're step laughing away at... from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is not. Would you rather, here, you know what? Let's try this one instead. <laughs> Oh god, it's cringe. It's so cringe. <laughs> You're about like one step uh, away to being able to do that. I I told it to generate a 4chan thread <laughs> about a guy stealing the grease from a Burger King. Carrot minion T11. And then we can go all the way to Trevor the Trapper. Oh, actually, I have that travel scroll. Why am I not using it? And then carrot T11, 12, T12. There he is. Carrot minion T12 acquired. Oh, so by the way, I have five deliveries at Jerry. Let's take them. These are from my bingo profile. So I, I gave myself a tarantula minion, two poison samples from toxic rain slimes, nine absolute ender pearls, a stack of arachnes calling, and 37 young dragon fragments. Hey guys, we're back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. And there's a new thing in the background. I mean, before we get into things, um, look at look at what I've got. I've spent the past uh, two days doing random grinds in Skyblock and i for some reason always default to mining i don't know why in game i am plotting so where we left off yesterday or day before yesterday i believe <clears throat> we were trying to get this setup over here working so this is a bunch of magma cube minions i've had them set up like this so that i could um do the corrupt soil thing not for coin actually i need the sulfur because i want to get implosion belt it's going to increase the damage of my spirit scepter as well as any explosives that I just so happen to use. And there's a lot of explosives in this game. So that would make all the sense. Look at, look at, I've been trying to upgrade the magma cube minions so that we can, you know, have a good amount of sulfur. It's a slow process getting all these guys to tier nine, but we're getting there. I'm getting most of them to tier nine. I'm trying to at least. And I've actually been grinding some more off camera in terms of mycelium. So if you look at this last page here, we have nearly two rows of corrupt soil. And then I realized, I, I tried grinding it, right? Uh, just killing all the magma cubes, getting the sulfur with this configuration. Then I realized it's way too slow. So we're gonna have to start sticking minions here and then put the chest there. And that might be why Fearless's design didn't have string there. That makes a lot of sense. But anyways, yeah, I'm thinking we stuff nine more minions into this box and then give them corrupt soils and then hopefully get even faster sulfur because it's going to be annoying to get to 100,000 collection, which just so happens to be about the amount of sulfur you need to even craft the implosion belt. It's a little over that. So yeah, we're, we're going to have to be real busy on that front. But for now... I I want to show you some other things I did. So I reset my heart of the mountain tree again. Except this time I had two goals in mind. I wanted to max out the most difficult perks that you can. The first of which being efficient miner. Level 100. I went and did it. I reset my hotem tree. And I just decided, you know what? I want efficient miner at 100. This is... This is always... It's always whenever I've done mining in this game ever since dwarven mines came out i thought to myself what would it be like to have maxed out efficient miner so now i guess i get to figure that out at the cost of not being able to max mining fortune and speed uh seasoned mine man titanium and sadium that doesn't really matter but these two i'm definitely gonna have to grind even more powder to get to level 50 each of them it takes me roughly a half an hour to 45 minutes to get well not now it's gonna take about an hour and 15 minutes to get another level of mining fortune so it's it's getting expensive but you know powder grinding it's i've gotten used to it by now and i also maxed out powder buff 
that one was also really 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 expensive so yeah powder buff is at level 50 at of course the cost of not being able to max out my speed to or fortune to actually overall my fortune didn't change at all because my fortune went down here but then it went up here so it's about the same give or take five mining fortune but where i'm really suffering at the moment is mining speed uh yeah so dumping all my points into powder buff and efficient miner was painful but then i i followed it up with five hours of powder grinding to make at least the mithril side of things less bad and it clearly is less bad so that's something i did now do you want to see what this looks like do you know how satisfying it is to just maximum efficiency mithril mine it, it's very satisfying looking i've never actually done it until this profile um oh one thing before we do that i need to give the museum a visit so i need to go over to rarities and i need to grab this titanium drill drx355 considering i have a gemstone gauntlet with a topaz slot this is useless um well not useless if i were to use it on mithril i suppose it would be decent but not as good as gauntlet now here's the thing i've been saving up drill upgrade components and as you can see i have 10 refined diamonds 16 refined titanium and six mithril plates in the ender chest that just so happens to be the amount required to upgrade the drill to the drx455 i've been forging pretty much constantly and i see what people are talking about when they complain about it it takes a long time but i'm in no rush because again it's not useful to me until 655 at least for gemstones so titanium drill drx 455 plus one breaking power and plus 200 mining speed plus 15 mining fortune oh it's gonna upgrade right away nice i thought it was gonna take like three days but no nope. yeah i'm slowly gathering all the resources required to upgrade it again i actually did more powder grinding with the chests before i reset my heart of the mountain tree and fricked my grand explorer perk it's only level nine now but before that i actually did some powder grinding in the precursor remnants so we have a decent amount of robot parts i grinded a bunch of glacite jewels i'm trying my best here chad i'm really trying to get this this process going so to upgrade it to the 555 we are going to need 20 refined diamonds 32 refined titanium the iron blocks is fine and 15 mithril plates i'm actually close to the amount of refined diamonds but when it comes to the plates ooh, and we're actually also close on the refined titanium front as well so i might as well grab those i'm gonna set up my new work in progress drill section to be over here but those mithril plates man those are gonna be tough and the 20 plasma as well that's gonna be fun Bum. we're actually fairly close to being able to upgrade it to 555 in terms of raw materials it's just the forge time that's a problem but yeah so we're slowly making this thing better it still doesn't add up to the gauntlet but with a proper drill part i think the 555 will surpass the gauntlet in the dwarven mines because right now the topaz slot is the reason why the gauntlet is just better but that's only on gemstones we're gonna we're gonna put this back in the museum for now we're not gonna need it for a while i'm not gonna be able to upgrade it for a while so we might as well just put it away but oh look at that we actually genuinely just hit the requirements for the hex in terms of like keeping items in there now obviously once the drill is ready i'm gonna take it out and keep it out but look at that we officially actually have the hex unlocked i've never used this before by the way how does this work Ooh, that's cool i've never used the hex before and it takes from your inventory and ender chests that's helpful i like that how much powder do you have a lot i have much powder look at all this powder 6.3 million mithril 7 million gemstone and it's still not enough but I'm extremely happy with this result. Now let's let's flex for a second. So we got my scatha, we got my gauntlet. Um, oh, one last thing. You know, to get all that mithril powder, I kind of had to 
to... I kind of had to mine a lot of mithril. <laughs> I've been busy. I've been very busy. When I say that I put five hours into mithril mining, I wasn't exaggerating. By the way, we started at about 62 million, so that's like 6 million worth of mithril so far, but we're not even close to done. Store them? No. So you might be thinking to yourself, Thirty virus, why are you why are you selling all of this mithril to NPC? That doesn't make sense. You you need mithril. You need mithril to make your drill and your a sword in the future, perhaps, and like a ton of other things. And I agree. I need mithril for a lot of things. Like a lot of things, right? But I don't think people understand quite how much mithril I have. <laughs> I did the math already, chat. I need about 6,000 additional enchanted mithril to get what I need to get done finished with. So like there's on top of this inventory, another 10,000 enchanted mithril. I could just sell no questions, no concerns. It's going to hurt me in no way whatsoever because there's nothing left in the game to craft beyond 6,000 more enchanted mithril. So, why did you grind so much? I needed powder, man. And the most efficient way to get powder is... Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the most efficient way to get mithril powder. And you just so happen to get a ton of money along the way as well. So, do you want to see how I got to 35 million overflow mithril? 35 million coins worth of overflow mithril from every single thing I could possibly craft in the game. You are going to see as soon as I find a lobby. Here we go. So this is what I was doing for about six hours. So here I am in my maxed out jaded uh, Devon armor recommed with every single gemstone slot maxed out because absolute freaking sweat and a heated gemstone gauntlet with all perfect gemstones as well as... Uh, being recommed as well and i don't know if there's any other upgrades oh and it also has uh pristine five which doesn't matter in this context and fortune four so what i basically would do is i would stand here and i would do this this is what efficient miner 100 looks like chat this is what it looks like when you have a 50% chance to break six blocks around you. And the funny thing is, it could be even crazier if I were to upgrade my Scatha pet and then get that tunneling perk or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called, but it's basically two additional blocks broken of Efficient Miner on top of Efficient Miner, except it has a special quality to it that it will actually break things that are not the same ore as the block you broke. So, for example, if I were to have, say, a legendary Scatha, and I were to break this block, this block, there's a chance it'll break the titanium without me actually touching titanium, which is insane. But yeah, this is this is what max um, efficient miner looks like in the context of mithril mining. It could get even crazier if I had my Scatha upgraded, but like, look at how ridiculous this is. Like, <laughs> and this is me dumping all of my points into fortune and efficient miner and ignoring speed and it's not even that bad of a speed it's a pretty decent speed so yeah i did this for six hours chat now the thing that's cool about this is that this level of efficient miner also works in the crystal hollows so let's say i go over here i go to you buy the mine cart and then i leave the lobby go back do this warp cn double powder oh i will always take free powder that's a lot of free powder right there. Hey, we just got the we just got the black cat to level 100. What is that timing? That's another pet completely leveled up to 100 legendary with an EXP share. That's crazy. Nice. Well, I guess that's something we have to do. Do I even have an EXP share? Let's do the thing I was going to show you. So maxed out efficient miner, right? And let's say I wanted to level a pet. Um, with the golem, right? Sure. Look at how quickly <laughs> this just vanishes. There's nothing left. It's just, look at this. And again, this is ignoring my mining speed. Like, I neglected the mining speed perks with my Heart of the Mountain. Like, I did not put any powder, relatively speaking, into speed. This is all... <laughs> this is just ridiculous. 
This is stupid. It's just, it's gone. The, the mithril vein is gone. Like it just completely, this is the fastest way to level pets for mining, by the way. Um, other than armadillo, technically you can armadillo your way through, but only levels that one pet. But like any other mining pet, this is the fastest way to level it. Now, of course, if I had mine, man, whatever that perk is called leveled up completely. Oh, you want to see something even funnier? So this is fast. This is clearly like ridiculously fast, right? But that's not, <laughs> that's not mining speed boost fast. So if I were to go like over here, so do you want to see what happens when you have like effectively max mining speed? Once you speed boost, you're going to hit the soft cap for mithril and this crazy level of efficiency. It's all going away. It is all gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. There's nothing left. It's all going. I should also point out this is faster for getting actual mithril. Like maybe not powder, but you get more literal mithril doing this. So all of that mithril I got was in a less efficient environment for money making, but I just wanted powder. See, it's gone. <laughs> it's just, it's gone. Really